Hello, Priest Planet. It is the Tarot Priest back with another Pick a Card reading. And in today's Pick a Card reading, what I'm going to be focusing on is what are their intentions. So this will be a love reading. And basically what you're going to do is just think about a person or have a person in mind, figure out which deck you're drawn to the most, and then we'll also look into what are their intentions with you or for you. First and foremost, to all of you guys who are a part of the Priest Planet community, I appreciate everything you guys do, your likes, your donations, your comments, uh, your booked readings, and your kind words. I really appreciate it. All the emails I get with love and light, I also do appreciate that as that continues to encourage me to uh, allow this process to move forward. It's always an honor to be able to lead you guys and give you clarity out of love and light only. Uh, before we get started, per usual, a few announcements. Don't forget to click the notification bell or subscribe to my channel if you're new. I'm gonna be doing live Q and A's pretty much every week. So if you do want to receive a notification when I go live, don't forget to add that to your subscription on the side with the notification bell. If you wanna book a personal reading a little bit more in depth, you can also do that. Also, if you're interested in learning tarot reading or becoming a priest prophet, I'm gonna be doing a priest prophet in training, one-on-one um, -on -one coaching, live coaching, and an online course. So make sure you look for that in the description box as well. Last but not least, if you have not claimed your free reading yet, I also have a link to a free reading. I kind of just randomly choose through people. I've already sent off at least 100 readings in the past two weeks. So don't forget to sign up for that. Okay, so let's get started. We have five decks today, which is slightly unusual, but I felt led to do five decks today. So we have deck one, deck two, deck three, deck four, deck five. Also, I'll have the timestamps in the description as well and in the comment section if YouTube decides to allow it. So let's move on to deck number one. Okay, so if you chose deck number one, uh, this is your reading. Don't forget to comment down below if it resonates with you. If you guys want to book an in-depth reading or learn more about learning tarot or even uh, tuning into my live Q&As, don't forget to click the subscription box and the bell next to it. So let's see what we have for the person that you're thinking about. What are their intentions towards you? So first, with this deck, I had uh, three oracle cards come out. So I just took them. We'll be looking at them one at a time. So for the overall energy, um, this is the first card. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. So this person could potentially be a new person. Uh, let's see. Messages for what are their intentions. You guys could have already been in a relationship with the Eight of Cups. This is usually someone who walks away and comes back or has been thinking about it. So if the Eight of Cups was in the upright, this would be somebody that has walked away from the relationship and is not looking back. Um, as you see, this person is looking down at the cup, the empty cup, wondering if they made the right decision. This is usually what I get from the Eight of Cups in reverse. So I feel like this could be an off and on relationship for you if you chose deck number one. Uh, you guys could have had something. If not, and this is new, then this person may be dwelling on the past uh, relationship that they were in. Also, with the Nine of Cups, I feel like you're questioning whether or not this person can fulfill you or make you happy. Usually with the Nine of Cups, this energy is a wish fulfillment, but it's in the reverse. So you're questioning whether or not this person can make you happy. However, I don't know if their intentions are to start something completely new with you. They're, so with their intentions, it's like they want to come back to you, but they're not sure if it's going to emotionally fulfill them so it's kind of like why come back and I also feel like their intentions are not to start all over at all so I feel like this may be telling you to clear the energy for a new relationship let's see what the next oracle message is playfulness and okay yeah that's going to be a message so we'll save that so we have playfulness Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember love is the greatest healer. So I feel like their intentions are to come back or to start over, but they're unsure of it. They're just unsure of whether or not they want to start all over and unsure if you can make them happy or if they can make you happy. So with the playfulness, I feel like you guys kind of have to like this again. This is for you if you guys are 
or were currently in a relationship with this person that basically what the universe is saying is you guys have to start all over from a place of like friendship have some fun and remember love is the greatest healer. So if there were some things in the past that you guys have dealt with, the only way you guys are going to get a new beginning is if you allow that. So with their intentions, I feel like they do want to be open to this. Let's see what this is. Criticizing one another will lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. So again, like I just feel like their intentions are to start all over, but they're not sure how to do it. And so this is just the guidance and the overall energy on how this would work out as far as like what I'm picking up with the love oracles. So let me see what else we have. So the nine of cups. So they see you as a very grounded person. They see you as a stable person and uh, their intentions are to build something. And I feel like they are ready to, I mean, the Hierophant is rules and government and society standards. So I feel like they, their intention is to be in it for the long run. Their intention is to be in a relationship, but they're just unsure if it's going to make you or them happy. So they feel like you guys will be a great asset to each other as far as building something together, being in it for the long run. So yeah, let's see what we have with these cards. This is just a complicated situation. So I feel like this is a relationship. Uh, I feel like you guys were in a relationship with this person. Um, also though, if you guys haven't been in a relationship with this person and this person is new, then they're still dwelling on their past relationship. And um, so their intentions with you is, I don't feel like it's anything serious at all. Yes, that resonates very well. I don't feel like this is anything serious because they're still stuck on the past relationship. Now, if you guys were together, then this is about you. But their intention is, I welcome new love and trust what it brings. So they do want a relationship. Like I said, they do want something grounded and stable and founded, um, they're just questioning whether or not they're going to emotionally be fulfilled. And so the best way to start this new beginning is to be playful. And I feel like that's what they want to do is start all over from a place of like laughing and playing and going back to like when things were lighthearted and not so serious, especially with the Hierophant here, because the Hierophant puts pressure on marriage and long term commitment and what society thinks is right, what the family thinks is right, what the government thinks is right. Um, it's usually like governed by society rules and things like that, like sovereignty. So with the Ace of Cups, this is someone who wants a new beginning with you. They want to welcome new love and they're trusting that it's going to, they're trusting that it's going to um, be great, but it's almost like how long with the Nine of Wands in reverse, how long is this going to last? Also, I choose my battles carefully. This kind of resonates with these two cards on the ends. Because I feel like you guys have just said some petty things to each other with the criticizing one another and not coming to a place of like maturity to understanding that you guys can build this relationship and have something grounded and founded if you guys just don't make it so serious. So they have good intentions. They don't want to hurt you. They don't even want to fight with you. They don't want to fight with you. They're tired of like arguing or having discussions that are leading to nowhere. They just want to take it easy and start all over. Nothing too serious, but they do see it for the long run. Hopefully that makes sense. This one's a little more complicated to, to pick up only because I feel like you guys have history and um, there's still some forgiveness factors, some grudges that need to be removed. And this person also has the intention of coming forward, but not yet. If they have yet, to do that, they might take some time because their heart is telling them that they want this relationship. But with the Ace of Wands in reverse, they're questioning it from like a more of a logical standpoint of if, is this going to actually last a long time? Is this a new opportunity? Will we get anywhere or will this just be a dead end? So they have good intentions for you, but mostly it's uh, their intention is to be with you, to come back if they haven't already. And to, I feel like they do want marriage with the Hierophant and the Queen of Pentacles. 
they do want some type of commitment in marriage. So yeah, if you chose deck number one, that would pretty much be your reading. So overall, their intention is to come back and make it work. And they're probably going to be offering something by, before the end of the year for some of you. But they don't want to fight. They just kind of want to take it easy. Just have fun. Like just this isn't such a this isn't going to be such a serious situation. Um, yeah, so just have fun. So that's your reading for for deck number one. A little crazy uh, energy, just a mixture of energy. But uh, the most important thing is that this is a new opportunity for you. And you just have to see it as such uh, by allowing a sense of newness to come in and letting the old stuff dissolve. So if you chose deck number one, I'm interested in seeing what you guys have to say, because yes, this is certainly a complicated situation, but for the most part, they have good intentions. So there you have it, deck number one. On to deck number two. If you chose deck number two, this is your reading. Also, I have a few announcements in the description box below. Don't forget to check those out. I have a Patreon. Also, if you guys want to uh, click the notification button, I will be doing lives, Q&As, and teaching people how to learn tarot along with one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions. So go ahead and check out the description box below for that information. Um, let's move on to your guys' reading. The first cards that we're going to be looking at are going to be Love Oracle cards. This will be the general energy for the intention of this person. And then we'll be looking at three different decks of tarot. So I'll be interpreting that for you guys. So right off the bat, we have the Page of Swords. This is someone who is a terrible communicator, um, can be immature at times. The Knight of Pentacles in reverse. This is someone who is moving quite fast. Usually the Knight of Pentacles in the upright, this is a very slow um, moving card. And they do want to build something. They're just being petty about it. So let's just see what the general energy is. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right and secret admirer. So this might be someone new, could be somebody old from your past. Let's see. Secret admirer. Someone has deep, deeper feelings for you than you, than they are letting on. Yeah. So that's what I get with the page of swords. This is just somebody who is like immature, um, doesn't want to really admit that they care or like you or have feelings for you. Uh, they're just a really bad communicator. This would also be like a teenage child, like the way that they communicate would be in a sense of a teenage child and how they would do it. Uh, but they are moving forward and they're focused on foundation with you. They do have deep feelings for you than they're telling you because I do think that they have pride and they're, they're, they just have an issue when it comes to communicating how they truly feel. Um, their intentions, it looks like, is to build something. They do have, like I said, with these cards, they do have feelings for you and they do want to start all over and build. If you guys were together, they want to start all over and build. And if you haven't, then they still want to uh, build a foundation of some some such of structure with you. And they're, move, they're going to move fast with the Nine of Pentacles. But this is somebody that wants some type of foundation. Why is the Page of Swords here? Four of Pentacles, they may come off as very greedy, even stubborn, holding on to, uh, hold on, holding on to things, but they're actually not like that. I feel like based on what they've said, you can't really go off of that with the character, with the, uh, person's character. You may think that this person wants to hurt you if you have history. If you have history, you may think that this person wants to hurt you uh, with their words. They could be an asshole or very rude about it, but they're really not like that. They're just kind of putting on this persona. Um, they do want to, their intention is to start something with you and to build a foundation and to be a leader, kind of like a husband or wife role. It could be a man or a female, as we know, uh, spirit has no gender. So they do want to kind of guide you and they do want to be like a, a husband or some type of leader or a wife in the aspect of leading to a more founded situation. The only problem is their communication. They're not really saying anything. If this is someone that you don't know but kind of suspect, they definitely like you and they are stalking you. They want to start something new with the Ace of Wands. Uh, they feel very passionate about you. And their intentions are to, to start something. 
to start and to build something, to be a leader, to have, they do want to have a conversation about it. They, I just don't know why they're being so petty. They kind of don't have a filter when it comes to, to um, expressing how they feel. So they want to be a leader. They could be an air sign. They want to be a leader and they want to build some type of structure and foundation with you. And they are going to move fast towards it. And I do think they desire to be intimate with you. Let's see why these cards are here. We have the four of pentacles again in the reverse. I trust I am always safe and protected. So that's what I'm feeling like is that they, they, you guys are kind of like both feeling the same way when it comes to how one another feels or what their intentions are, because what they say is not how they feel. And I feel like even sometimes they feel like that with you They're They don't feel safe enough to be vulnerable. They don't feel safe enough to express how they feel for some reason. They feel like they're going to get hurt. But what's happening is they're actually projecting that in the relationship on being like this hard ass or being hard to get or just not saying anything at all because the page of swords could be someone who feels this way but doesn't speak up about it so i feel like they have issues with communication when it comes to expressing how they feel if this is a is someone that you guys were currently with that you're asking about then they do want to start all over and they want to do it right this time they want like a clean slate but they're being an asshole about it they don't know how to just come forward and say that. So they're stalking you instead and they still have deeper feelings for you than they're saying. The three of wands in reverse. So I have the energy I need to realize my goals. So I feel like also with this situation, this person can be, could be an earth sign just because there's so many pentacles here. It doesn't have to be. But I also feel like they are considering the foundation of it. They're worried about their finances and their career as well. So their intentions are to build something with someone who also has these same type of goals. I'm just going to turn these around. <laughs> so yeah, this person's really fa uh, passionate. Very passionate. And I feel like... Um, their goal is to be with you and that is their intention but you know what is crazy is i don't have any cup cards they're they're emotionally if you've been with this person before they are emotionally detached they're all thinking about like the structure um you know how one another can benefit each other when it comes to the goals the relationship as far as the structure and the the foundation of it more so like the leader this is going to be an energy of someone who is looking for a partner to build something with rather than a lover <clears throat> that is their intention is to build something and not necessarily a relationship so i feel like they do have deeper feelings for you but i don't feel like emotionally deep it is a start to and i for most of you guys, I do feel like this is a new person. Um, so if this is a new person, it's honestly, it's going to take some time for them to develop emotions because I just don't see it here. Their intentions are literally to find a partner in life, to kind of go after their goals, build a foundation. Um, there will be a little bit of spark of passion and intimacy, but not, not as much because this is someone who's very focused on what it is that they have. They're very forward thinking and can be tunnel vision at times. They have a problem being open, open-minded about things. Um, if you know this person, or even if you don't, if this person's new, it's still the same energy. It's just whether or not you guys have been together or not, or if this is a new person. So yeah, that's what I have for deck number two. They're not really interested in the marriage or the children aspect or building something based on relationship and emotion. It's all going to be strategic, planning, foundation, stability, and partnership. So that's kind of what I get for deck number two. I'm curious to see if this is a new person that you guys have met or if this is somebody that you guys have been dealing with. If so, don't forget to leave your comment down below. Let me know that you commented deck number two. In the meantime, let's move on to deck number three. 
Okay, if you guys chose deck number three, this is your reading. Also, I have some announcements in the description box below. Don't forget to check those out if you want to learn tarot, book a personal reading, or tune into my live Q&As. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button. So if you chose deck number three, we're going to start with the overall energy. This deck also had three cards. So the first card out is surrender. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. So if you chose deck number three, let's see what's in store. Now this could be a new person that's coming in and you might need to surrender the old. Or this could be an old person coming in and you might need to let go of the old so you guys can start a new beginning. So take it how it resonates. King of Swords, somebody that's cut off. Um, another person who just does not know how to express how they feel. Their intentions are to build something, to have patience. They believe that with the patience with you, even if, okay, two, two scenarios per usual. Um, it's, it's always based on what resonates with you guys because this could be an old person or a new person you're thinking about. So if this is an old person that you're thinking about, um, they feel like with patience, you guys can get back to a place of building something together. Seven of Pentacles is all about like this on here on this card. You're watering to build and um, basically see the growth of it. So it starts as a small plant and then it goes um, somewhere much greater into obviously a huge tree. Now on other decks, it's also a fruitful situation where it's like you plant the seed, but you got to give it some time to grow. So with this, it's like, this person that you've been with feels like you guys need to start all over and they're willing to be patient about it, but they're not communicating this because they are also very cut off. Uh, King of Swords is someone who is very, very cutthroat. Strength card, you could be dealing with the Leo. You don't have to be. We haven't had many major arcanas today in the decks. So this is, uh, I feel like this is the first time that we have had that besides the higher font and a couple of other cards, but... Um, in this deck, this would I think this is the first major con I can't remember, but having the strength, the strength to withstand. So if this is someone new, they realize you've gotten out of a, a relationship and that needs to be healed and you just have yet to surrender to the process. So there's no new beginning, but they're willing to be patient with you. They may be like harsh about it. Like you need to let your ex go. You need to do this. You need to do this. But they're also like willing to be patient because they really care about you. Let's see what the second oracle message is. Transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers all and transforms all things. So also, again, this is a healing process. So the transformation is going to come through the healing. And this person is aware of that. Um, they've had some type of awakening or a realization that it is going to take time and you're going to have to let go of the things that were said. I feel like if you guys were together, you guys had said some harsh things, got into some arguments and said things that you truly just didn't mean because obviously you really care about this person. Um, and so their intentions are to start all over, have the strength and basically transform the relationship with love by saying none of this matters, what we've been through. It, it was all petty. Some of our fights just, I don't even remember them because they were so damn petty and so small that love is going to transform and we'll be able to start all over, but it's going to take strength and courage to do so. And somebody's going to have to put their pride aside because we all know with the strength card in Leo energy, they're known for Leo pride, Leo, um, and there's <laughs> Leo tendencies, I guess people can say, but Leo energy as far as like coming off as a lion, but really being super soft inside. Life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads. So now if this is somebody new that you guys are asking about. I feel like, and it's only going to be for a few of you guys. So when you comment down below, I'll be able to see that. But this is going to be like a really great healing relationship for you. If this is new and you got out of a relationship, this process is going to be very beautiful. It's going to be beautifully painful. And I only say that because you have to realize that there's too much pressure. And so letting it go and allowing things to fall in place is going to release the stress and let things flow naturally. Now, you don't have to have so many expectations if this is a new person, um, because their intentions are to just basically take it easy. They realize what you've been through. They also realize it's going to take time. And they're, they, I feel like this person that you just met is somebody who is going to help you through the healing process. So they just want to start all over. 
with you. They just want a fair shot. If this is somebody new. Now, if going back to being somebody old, they are also not trying to be overwhelmed and fighting. They want to shift the cycles and they don't want to resist the change. And so what's happening is a lot of people are resisting this surrendering and they're refusing to transform. So with, you can't get to the transformation unless you first surrender. How do you surrender? You let go and you stop resisting. When you stop resisting, then you surrender. So you're resisting and it's not moving natural. It's not fluid. It's not flowing. So this person's intention is to truly transform your guys' disaster into something incredible. Two cut off people. Nobody wants to show their emotions. We have a queen of swords who's super, could be super emotional, but just could be emotionally manipulative. But also I feel like this person's intentions, like they don't want to argue. They don't want to be emotionally cut off. They want to be open with you. They want to start all over. That's what they truly want. But I feel like they feel like you're emotionally detached. Also with the hermit card, you could be a Virgo. You don't have to be. Hermit on the Seven of Pentacles. So basically, this person feels like they've taken enough time and they want to start slowly. They don't want to jump and dive right into anything. They want to start slowly and they've already taken the time that they need. They're ready to come out of their shell and do that. And that's their intention. The Devil card. We have some fears. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let's see, why is the devil card here? Mm, yeah, this is a fear. Usually with the devil card, it could be uh, distraction, substance abuse, lustful situations. Um, but I feel like they're avoiding this. One more card? Yeah, this is a past relationship for most of you guys. For sure. I remember in Treasure Past Happiness, the universe brings all I need to feel blissful. But we have the devil card. So I just feel like this energy, unfortunately, you don't trust this person. And that's where the devil card is coming up. Because we have all of this energy of wanting to transform, surrendering, surrendering to love, allowing things to flow. And then we have like the, the creeping devil card. So I feel like you just have trust issues and you have to trust that the universe, whatever it's doing is working for your benefit. God, whatever you believe is working for your benefit for this situation and is on your side with this relationship. And instead of remembering the times that like, okay, you guys, let's just say this. For those of you who are in a relationship, the, the intentions of these people are good and pure. You can trust them. They are on the same path. They have the same fears that you do. They have the same trust issues that you do, but somebody has got to let down their guard first. And for the both of you guys, their intention is they're thinking more about the good times than the bad times. And doing that is going to slowly heal and allow you guys to both open up. So you can trust this person. Their intentions are to start all over and to build something. They don't care how long it takes for the seed to grow. That's what they want. And it's clear as day. But again, it's not going to come off like that. It's going to come off as they're emotionally detached and they're, they're being cutthroat. So you may be getting this reading and you're like, uh, yeah, I don't see this person even remotely feeling like this. But I'm telling you with this energy, they are also going through the transformation process. And this is what they want. And if they haven't got there yet, that is the end result and the end goal. So for deck number three, this is your reading. This is certainly a relationship that you have already had for the most of you. Now back to if this is a new person. If this is a new person, their intention is to allow you the time to transform and be patient. They're exercising patience, but they're having trouble doing it because of everything you've gone through. And with the devil card here, with the new person, I feel like you're questioning their motives because of your past relationship. But with the universe brings all I need to feel blissful, if this is a new person, I feel like this person was sent to you to help you with the surrendering and the trans 
transformation process. So hopefully that brings you guys clarity. If you guys did pick group number three, I can't wait to see what you guys have to say. Let's move on to group number four. Okay, if you guys chose group number four, this is your reading. Before we get started, don't forget to check my description box for information about personal in-depth readings, learning tarot, or even tuning into my live Q&As. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button so you guys can receive those alerts. First, we're going to start off with oracle messages this is going to be the overall energy and then i am going to pull um, these cards and then we'll go from there so overall energy first up we have if you can do anything what would it be the answer dwells in your heart not in your mind for the heart is the gateway to the soul so let's see what the intentions of this person that you're thinking about is this person, I can already tell you, is exhausted with fighting and they're ready for a breakthrough to success. They're ready for some type of change and to turn over a new leaf. This person is also indecisive. And this person has sexual, I don't want to say sexual deviances, but geez, it's a lustful situation. This, I get out of all decks, is a new person that you're inquiring about. Um, or even, let's just say, six months or less is kind of what I'm feeling. So even if it's fairly new of a relationship and you're just trying to ask this question, this is going to be for you specifically. If you guys have already been together, I don't really feel that. But I'm going to kind of see if I feel that for a few of you. You guys might pick this deck and feel that. So first off the bat, this person is indecisive. They are twiddling between their past and moving forward. They have hope in making a decision soon, but right now they are just slightly focused on sex and lustful um, situations. So whatever feeds their ego. Also like drinking, um, it might just be carelessly doing things that are just not feeding their soul. They're really not looking for a soul type of partner. Um, they're also, when I say they're looking through for a breakthrough, I feel like they're avoiding some things that they need to heal. I feel like we all might be going through that, especially with this retrograde. But things that they need to heal and um, get over so that they can turn a new leaf in life. But they're just not focused on that. Let's see what this card is. Healing. Yeah. Okay. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light, feeling your relationship being healed at this very moment. So yeah, so I feel like their escapism right now is through this type of stuff. So basically like with the first scenario, if this is someone you've just met within six months, they're focusing on escaping the pain that they have. And that's that could be through sex partying, any type of escapism, job, work, overworking themselves, a workaholic, any type of holic at the end of it is basically what this devil card is going to represent. And I think it's due to just the past situations and healing. Um, they're ready to turn over a new leaf in their life, but they're just too busy trying to escape it that they're not really dealing with it. So their intentions, I feel like, are just to kind of, it's almost like you're just there as a filler and also codependency. I feel like you're there, their intentions with you is to be codependent. So their healing, part of their healing process is having you there all the time, like, or wanting to be around you or um, enjoying the company of that in, in order to avoid the healing process. So if this is someone that you were, even if you were currently with, this is absolutely resonating on the same entire path. So if they're coming back and you guys are just starting all over, you guys might be doing things in a sense of not not really having intellectual conversations, not really figuring out what you guys are doing because I feel like this person is having an inner struggle and an inner battle. And they're just focusing on the escapisms and what feels good and instead of healing. So they're avoiding it. Let's see what other cards we have. Page of Cups. Two on two, they're juggling. They might have another person. I wouldn't doubt it. Um, 
they're still dwelling over a past situation. They're, and it's not even love. It's just, um, it could be a job, a family member. They could have lost somebody for a few, for a few of the people that chose this deck. That person could have lost someone. And again, it could be by, you could be a cross watcher, which just means like what I'm saying is how you feel about the person. But as far as their intentions, they're, it's like a subconscious thing. They don't realize they're, that they're doing it. And we only have one cup card here. Um, which is some type of lack of maturity. So their intention with you is nothing serious, even if you've been with them before, because they're not in their right mind to even discuss serious situations as far as commitment and love goes. Also, um, their intention is just to escape with you, to escape from their pain with you and using you as a codependency and an escape mechanism. This is their coping method. They're refusing to deal with themselves and they're using you in the process to kind of do that. Um, the Two of Pentacles, they're absolutely juggling somebody else. I feel like they might be like on dating apps or something immature, especially with these two cards here. I always feel like it's some type of like lustful satisfaction. So they could be on dating apps, just trying to fill the void. So their intentions is nothing serious. I can tell you that off the bat. Their intention is not to make a decision. Now, if these were in the reverse, I'd say that they are not trying to make a decision out of love. Because this is a love reading, I'm just going to let you guys know and keep it real that they're not ready to change and um, have more deeper intellectual situations at all. Let's see why these cards are here. The Will of Fortune in reverse. Yeah, this person is going through lessons. And they're, this this energy that I get is literally like a visualization of someone just running into the same wall. Just running into the same wall. Like they're not getting it. There's lessons. They're in a lesson. They're in a cycle. But it's in the reverse. It's just going and going and going. Until they figure it out, they're just going to be stuck in this loop. So I trust whatever the universe brings me. So basically with the Will of Fortune, it, it represents 10 numero of 10, which is a new cycle, a new beginning. So we have zero to, to nine, but 10 would be the next cycle of 10 to 19 and then 20 and so on. So every zero is like a new cycle. And so the wheel of fortune represents some type of cycle and lesson that they're going in. So you're part of that lesson. <clears throat> King of Pentacles. Yeah, we have one cup card and it's a page and it's in reverse, which is the bare, bare essentials of emotions. This person is very self-absorbed, only thinking about themselves, not realizing the people that they're hurting in the process. Their intentions are, their intentions are subconsciously, like they're not doing this intentionally um, because of the healing, they're running from it, and then everything is just on a cycle, on a loop. And so it's not technically their fault, but again, because they're so self-absorbed, they're a king of pinnacles. Um, the, I am sure of my place in this world, like I, 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 it's all about them right now. And so they're not understanding that during this process and coping mechanism, their intentions are just not pure, but from a heart perspective, it's like a, a child who has been hurt or a dog who has been wounded and they, they just are walking around and they're still not allowing things to heal. And the wound is getting dirtier and dirtier because they're refusing to actually spend the time to clean it and heal it. And instead, they're they're bleeding all over everybody around them. And so you happen to be one of those people. Wow, that was a deep, that was deep. <laughs> if you chose deck number four, I can't wait to see what you guys have to say. This person needs so much healing. And now if you love this person, I suggest you, <sighs> I suggest you know that this is a lesson for you of unconditional love. Loving this person through all of it is what's going to also help heal, but you don't have to stay. I just want you to know what their true intentions are. I'm just guided to read this card again. If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart and not in your mind. Your heart basically says to stay, to unconditionally love this person through it. Um, though they're not in a place to even, they're so like blinded by ego and hurt and pain that they don't really see this. And so not in your mind, right? In your mind, it's like, what the hell? I'm not going to sit here and be your chew toy and you, so you can use me because you're refu refusing to actually heal but the gateway is the heart to the soul so this the heart is the gateway to the soul is what the card says and so i feel like this is a soulful mission and journey and a lesson for you both could even be a soulmate connection with this, the will of fortune so yeah deck number three or that's not deck number three so deck number four this is your reading
on to deck number five. If you chose deck number five, this is your reading. A few quick announcements. If you do want to book a personal reading, you want to learn how to read tarot, or you want to claim your free question, you can find all of that information, including my Patreon information, in the description box below. And last but not least, don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notification icon because I will be going live and doing free question giveaways. So let's start with group number five. We have the overall message, which is the love oracle. And then we have three... Um, messages of tarot and then I'll get further into it so let's see what the overall energy for what are the intentions for this person that this the people who've chosen deck number five. Oh, is there three cards on this one no there's only two okay close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful you can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in let's see what this is about magician somebody is manifesting Let's see their intentions. They are manifesting a past relationship with the six of swords and a relationship. Wow. Okay. So two scenarios here. It's, I would say it's pretty 50, 50 with whoever chooses deck number five. First scenario is this person is from the past. They're trying to bring you guys back together. Their intention is to make action and to do that. Remember the magician, um, the interesting thing about the magician is we have the sword, the cup, uh, we have the pentacle, we have multiple things here. Um, and so what this tells me is this major arcana can manifest anything. The cup, love, pentacles, money, swords, passion, projects, but also uh, could be subconsciously doing it maliciously with the snake here. Um, wrapped in a sock or whatever the covering is. So whoever this person is, I feel like you know that they've been sneaky or they said they were going to do some things and they just never did it. Or this is a new person who you just feel like they're putting on this facade and they're lying about who they truly are. Now, they, this new person, if this is new, they do want to offer love or a relationship in a new relationship. If this is an old person, they're trying to bring you guys back. The Six of Swords is someone who is trying to transition from the past into a new beginning. But for this person, they want a new beginning with you, even though you have been together. So that's why I said two scenarios. Take what resonates if you pick this deck. The new person wants you to come out of the past so they can offer a relationship. They're willing to tell you anything to get you to come out of this energy. That's the magician. They make things happen. But it could be for the good or could be for the bad. That's why we have to basically clarify why the hell this card is here. Now, the old person, like I said, they do... The Six of Swords is usually a past, past life connection or a past relationship that you are with. But they want to bring you back together, but they want to come out of the past energy. Why is the Magician card here? So, the Magician card for the Four of Wands is usually like retreating and things like that. So they basically want to be with you. They want this to happen. They don't want to be by themselves. They don't want to um, go on this journey of retreat without you. Let's see why the Six of Swords is here. They're moving slowly with how they feel. And um, the Knight of Pentacles is usually someone who's very slow. And it's the slowest moving card in the deck. Let's see, why is the Ace of Cups here? Justice. Okay, so with the, the intentions, this is good. That, that gives me a better clarity. So this person does have the right intention. They are trying to win you over if they're new. New as in six months or less, right? Old, they want to bring it back together. They don't have any evil tendencies as far as what they want. Like this isn't in a malicious way. They, I really feel like they want to get justice with you in the relationship. Let's see why this card is here. When you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. So yes, I feel like this could be a past life connection with this card and this card coming out of past. You guys could have a deep connection. I feel like this person realizes that their intention is to have a relationship with you and get justice from it, whether new or old. Also, they want to move forward, but they're going to move forward slowly because they want to make sure that you or them are out of the past energy so that you can start something new. Let's see why these cards are here. Three of Swords and the Ten of Wands. So this tells me you guys were probably in a relationship. 
And I only knew, I only feel, felt that way because of the Six of Swords. So the Three of Swords, I see things exactly as they are, is heartbreak. And also with the Ten of Wands, I love and care for myself first. But for those of you who do many tarot readings, you'll know that the Ten of Wands usually means that you have a lot of burdens, a lot of weight. Um, like you're ready to exit because it's a lot. So I feel like if you guys were together, it was a lot. There was heartbreak. You don't trust this person, but I, I'm telling you that this person's intentions are pure and they just want to move on from the past. And I feel like holding on to the past energy is also holding on to the circumstances and not allowing yourself to feel the joy that you could possibly have with this person because you love them. So they, their intentions are to start a relationship, start something new and have justice with you doing so. Also, I feel like with the, these cards, this person doesn't want to relive the pain and doesn't want to relive the heart. So it's like it is what it the heartbreak or the heartache. It is what it is. It happened in the past. Let's just allow it to stay in the past. So basically with deck number five, this person wants a new relationship and you will find justice with this person. So I don't see any negative energy. However, in the past, I do see the negative energy, but in this current moment, basically, you just have to allow things to wash away so that you can be open to receiving this. So that's what I got for deck number five. If you chose this deck, can't wait to see what you guys comment down below. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next Pick a Card reading.